Hello, my beautiful friends. We're here for the astrological weather forecast for the next few days. And what we have is Venus and Virgo. Every We've talked about it a little bit earlier, but I'm going to go through the signs. What does Venus and Virgo mean if you have Virgo on the first house? Well, it means that you're going to be looking good, really cute, very attractive, attracting love, attracting attention for beauty and your health. So if you have Venus and Virgo in the second house, you're being very careful with your money, you're being very detailed, you're saving money, you're saving for the proverbial rainy day, but it also means an abundance of money. If Venus is in your third house, it means that your neighborhood, um, your communication, right now you're especially attractive when you speak to people. They're really listening. Um, so if you have a speech to give, fantastic. If you're signing a contract, you'll get a favorable deal. If you want to have a block party and a, and a fun party or barbecue and invite your neighbors, it's a beautiful time to do that. If you have Venus in Virgo on the fourth house, you are probably eliminating the clutter, you're beautifying your home, you, buy, you might be buying a new piece of furniture, but with Virgo in mind, you'll be thinking function, form, does this fit? If you're cleaning your closets, if you are having fun times with family at home, it's an especially beautiful time if Virgo is in your fourth house. If Virgo is on your fifth house, it means that you are very likely to attract a Virgo person or a Virgo-like person who's very attractive. It shows that right now your idea of fun may not be the big party that it was last month, but it really means that with children, with family, in romance, you'll move slowly, you'll be conservative, you'll be sweet, you'll be of service to others, and it's a super attractive quality to attract love. If you have Venus in the sixth house, that's the home of Venus and Virgo. It means that you are paying close attention to your health, you're taking care of yourself, your nutrition is good, uh, that you are also enjoying life day to day, really enjoying the routine. And if you don't have one, you're making one up that's really helpful to you. If you have Venus and Virgo on the seventh house, you are in a beautiful time in your life when you're able to attract a marital partner, a marital partner who's very conscientious, very kind, very loving, uh, somebody who would be of service to you in the marriage uh, relationship. That's how they would show you love. It also is a wonderful time to, uh, to, to find a business partner, a good doctor, a good lawyer, um, anybody that you you have a um, a light sort of an agreement with that regards that's like responsibility so in other words when you're married it's a legal contract when you hire a lawyer it's a legal contract your doctor has legal responsibilities to you to take good care of you if you have a financial advisor you need to have a fiduciary so they have their first responsibility is to you so it's a wonderful time to solidify any relationships in those areas that you would like if you have Venus in Virgo in the eighth house, it really looks as though for many of you, your 401ks, your investments, getting a home loan, um, an inheritance may come in and you would be very frugal and very well planned in the way that you deal with that, very detail oriented. If you have Venus and Virgo on the ninth house, that's a house of publishing, higher education, um, foreign travel. So for instance, foreign travel, the city of Paris is ruled by Virgo, Venus and Virgo. You could fall in love in the streets of Paris. You could get married there uh, for broadcasting or any kind of uh, social media. It looks as though you would be very well received. You'll be very attractive to people. Your messaging will be very kind very meticulously done a lot of attention to detail if you are looking to get into a university or a college it's a very favorable time to make those applications and to begin there if you have Venus and Virgo on the 10th house you are well known for your craftsmanship for your re uh, for your reliance, your reliability. It's a time when you would get credit for jobs well done, and it's a time when you could really become uh, in the limelight for the 
you know, be featured like in the newspaper, something like that, where you get public recognition for your work. Very good standing, probably a very good credit rating, a really good time to give a speech or do anything for your career or public. If you have Venus in the 11th house transiting right now in Virgo, it shows that your friends are likely to like help you with the fence or help you with the home project, help you at work. If you're in a, if you're in a um, union, you could probably get a pay raise contractually. Uh, it would be a very good time for harmonious negotiations with a company. If you have Venus and Virgo in your 11th house and you're just, you know, you're hanging out in your community, you're doing Habitat for Humanity, you could really meet a loved one or somebody who will become a very good friend in that environment. If you have Venus transiting your 12th house in Virgo, you could have a secret affair. Uh, something that would be very discreet, something that would not get the attention of other people. It's also a time when if you're caretaking anyone who's in a hospital or you're in a hospital, it's a very nice time for healing. It's very pleasant. Venus is really beauty. It's opportunity. So the other two transits I want to discuss is that we today for the next two and a half days, we have the moon in Aries and it's conjunct Chiron, which means that a lot of you will be going through sort of a dramatic upheaval in healing old wounds from the past emotionally. It can be a little bit argumentative. It can cause you to really look at yourself and any conflicts that are going on around you. And maybe you've had a part in them because something has triggered you from the past. But it is a time of resolution. It's a beautiful time of healing for that energy. So I love it. So when we look at uh, the energy of Mars, which is right now in Leo at 29 degrees, you know, in the next day it goes into Virgo. So what does Mars and Virgo mean? It means that all the actions, Aries, all the beginnings that you start with Aries energy are going to be very focused on Virgo aspects, you know, day-to-day -day life, your diet, your health, what's your routine, what do you get up from Sunday to Monday and do? Uh, excuse me, Monday to Sunday and do in your life. And it is a very important time to make, you know, make way in the areas of Virgo. Again, very focused on day to day life, organizing, you know, making your home more beautiful, uh, but very much all about the everyday work life health and fitness. So that is your energy for uh, Mars in Virgo coming up. I see it as being very favorable. It's going to trine off to Uranus, so you might have some surprises that will be very pleasant to you. You'll have great success with Mars in Virgo right now for any actions that you take in all areas of Virgo. Once again, so it does show that the transits are very favorable for the majority right now. And we are going to hop into the card reading that I did talking about that. So I'm going to click the camera over for the table view because I know you guys love it. Mm, thank you. Be right back. All right. So let's jump in and ask what, ask the cards. We're going to ask three questions today. What is the advice about the astrological movement? of the moon with Chiron. What is spirit going to tell us about healing your emotions and taking action? What is the question and the answer to Chiron, the moon conjuncting Chiron? I'm gonna just do three cards for each of these aspects we spoke about today. So hermit card, take time out for yourself in terms of healing, you know, look at things, um, you know, search for answers. But, you know, enjoy your quiet time. Chariot card, steadily and in a stable fashion, move forward. Do the things that you need to do to heal. And the strength card says that you have all you need to be able to heal this energy. Most of you have done most of the work that is required for this that are watching for my collective today. But it's gorgeous. It really says be nurturing, be kind, be loving. You have everything you need that the healing really is almost complete. All right. So now let's look and see with the Venus and Virgo energy. What is the advice from spirit for Venus and Virgo for the collective watching today? 
Let's see what we have here. Ooh, nice. Ooh, stay balanced, Libra energy. That's seventh house energy. Um, you know, whatever you do, just make sure everything is balanced by the book very much. The Ten of Wands, let go of your burdens, enjoy yourself, don't become overworked. You know, stay balanced, don't take on too much with that Virgo energy in any area of life, you won't be able to really carry the weight of it. Let go of your burdens, stay balanced with uh, Venus and Virgo. And the Queen of Pentacles, beautiful Capricorn energy, really says that you'll be rewarded for just staying the course and staying balanced, okay. So now what do we have as the advice from Spirit about Mars going into Virgo? Look at this Virgo. We have the Hermit, that's Virgo energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Remember what I said, being the sharp end of the spear, but what Spirit is saying is take your time, take action, which is Mars with Mars in Virgo, but take slow, steady action that is well planned. Okay, what else do we have? Mars in Virgo. Watch out for your physical well-being also. Yep, the Ace of Swords. Have clarity. Make sure that you take good care of your body, good care of your health, that this is a really beautiful time, and the Star card, Aquarius Energy. For some of you, you will be getting recognition in a very public manner with the star card. So when we look at that Mars energy, you are getting a lot of attention at this time. And we're really seeing this is a successful card. The star, the star is hopes and dreams for love coming true. It can also mean public recognition and status. Steady as you go. Keep your eye on the ball, which you always really do with Virgo energy. So that is your reading for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye, guys. Sending you love.